Hello everyone, how are you doing? We're back out here in the boat. Change of scenery, we are out on the pond right now and I'm going to take a little bit of time to tell you about top water baits. So to start things off, I'm going to tell you about the four main categories of top water baits. You have walking baits, you have frogs, you have poppers, and you have blade baits. In the blade bait category, you have things like buzz baits, whopper ploppers, buzz toads, things like that. Generally speaking, a blade bait is anything that uses a blade to create a disturbance on the top of the water or a prop in the case of like something like a whopper plopper or an El Chapo, depending on what brand you're talking about. Uh, another category of walking baits, now that stuff like spooks, plugs, anything generally cylindrical shaped that you throw on the top and you walk it back and forth like this, right? Next up is poppers. And what poppers do is they have a lip on them like this, where you, when you twitch the rod, it catches the water and pushes it out, makes a splash on the top, like it's a dying fish or anything on the top of the water that is creating a disturbance, a commotion, which most predator fish associate with food. And finally, frogs are of course meant to imitate frogs and they come in many different colors and frogs are mainly used to target fish that are in heavy cover like weeds or lily pads that are very hard to get at with other baits and especially hard to get at with most other topwater baits. To start off uh, on the tutorial side of things, we'll start with frogs. Now what you want to do with frogs is you want to get a heavier rod, probably at least a heavy action rod. You want to have at least 30, 40, 50 pound line on there, braid because it floats. You tie it on your frog and you're going to cast it right into lily pads, right into weeds, slop, anything on the top that fish could be hiding under in a sunny day because fish don't usually like to be out in open water when it's sunny because it messes with their eyes and they like to hide in the weeds. What you're going to do is you're going to cast in those weeds. You're going to pop it like this. Now this is a popping frog which has a lip like a popper but it will also walk like a walking frog which walks like a walking bait. And how you're going to work the frog is you cast it out, you leave a little bit of slack in the line, and you twitch it like this, twitch and reel at the same time. Now you're going to get a blow up when the fish bites it, it's going to grab the frog, and it's going to go under. Now you want to let him eat it for at least two seconds, because the way a frog works is the hooks are hidden so it doesn't catch the weeds, but as soon as a fish bites it, as you can see, those hooks come right out. So you want to let that fish grab it, and bite it a bit, and then the hooks come out, and then you set the hook. That's why you give it two seconds. Also, be very careful. A lot of times you'll throw a frog and a fish will miss it. So when you see a blow up, take a second, see if you can still see your bait. If you can't, set the hook. Now for buzz baits and other prop baits and blade baits, usually, especially in the case of a buzz bait, they work better on a little bit of a cloudy day with a slight breeze. And how you're gonna to wanna to fish these is you cast them on the side of a dock or on the side of weeds, on the side of cover where fish are going to be hiding and you just reel it at a nice steady pace. Of course, mess with your retrieve, retrieve it at different rates depending on how the fish are, if the fish are active or if they're sluggish and whatnot. And this blade will go on the top of the water. It'll cause a disturbance on there and then you'll get a boom, blow up you set the hook. Now as you can see on this one, I have a trailer hook. And the reason that you might want a trailer hook, especially if you notice you're getting a lot of blow ups, but you're, the fish aren't biting it, is buzz baits and other blade baits can cause what's called a short strike, where the fish strikes at it, but he just misses that hook. So what that trailer hook does is when they short strike it, you're still gonna catch them. Moving on to poppers. The technique you're gonna wanna use with the popper is again, you want to cast it in shady or sunny or, or cloudy areas and you cast it out and you just twitch your rod like this. It'll cause the pop, the surface disturbance. You wait a second, twitch again. Sometimes you want to throw in three or two twitches. Play with that, play with the speed, play with how many you do at a time. Again, it's all situational depending on whether or not the fish are active or if they're sluggish. They might be it might be early in the morning and they're feeding, or it might be midday and they're very sluggish and because of all the sun. But just play around with your bait and 
usually you'll get a couple bites off of a popper. And last but not least, we have walking baits. And the technique with the walking bait, now walking baits and frogs are the hardest out of all these to fish because it requires the skill to be able to work the bait just right. Again, you leave a little slack in the line and you twitch and reel at the same time to get it to walk back and forth. And it's very key that you get it to walk back and forth because if you don't, you're not fishing the bait right and you won't get as many blowups. You still might catch a few fish, but nowhere near. So again, with the walking bait, usually they have treble hooks. If not treble hooks, they'll have straight shank hooks, but they will still be exposed hooks. They're not like a frog. You can't throw them into weeds. You will catch the weeds and the lily pads and get stuck. So you wanna throw them into clear water that has no weeds in it. And usually around the five to six foot deep range, but I have seen smallmouth come up from deeper to hit them, but it is very rare. But you wanna throw them like maybe on long side of a dock or up next to a rock or somewhere where there could be a fish and you're hoping to entice them to come out and eat this by walking it back and forth. And if you listen, you can hear there's rattlers inside of these and that the fish can hear them and it attracts them over there. So that pretty much wraps up the video. Thank you for watching. Uh, stick around if you like the, the content and uh, I'll see you later.